What's going on everybody? This is a ways back with another tutorial of uh, Adobe application on iPhone. So in this tutorial I'll be looking into Photoshop Mix. So let me start that application. Okay, so this is what you see when you start your application. Top left you got this um, option where you can sign into your Facebook, Twitter or Creative Cloud account. I'm gonna go back by tapping on gallery. To start a project you tap on a plus sign and here you can open your pictures from your iPhone Creative Cloud, City Library, Lightroom, Stock, Facebook, and Dropbox. On the recent file, you will see your recent projects. You can capture the image straight away by tapping on this camera icon. As you can see that my camera has started and I can capture a picture and I can take that to my project. I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to open a picture from my iPhone. So I'm going to tap on, on my iPhone. And here in a camera roll I've got few pictures for this project so I'm gonna open this image a goal on the boat the main feature in this app compared to other Adobe Photoshop apps on iPhone is that you can add layers to it so let me show you how you can do that on the top you got your layer option if you tap on this button it will go away if you tap on the layer option it will come back okay the next to it you got your creative cloud account you can sync your projects on your creative cloud and you get about 5 gig of data next you got your sharing option you can save this to photoshop cc which will sync that to your computer through your creative cloud and you can save that to camera roll save that to lightroom instagram facebook all your social platform so i'm going to tap on cancel and let's look at the options down we got the options available here so i'm going to show you the cropping option which is really simple so i'm going to tap on crop here you can crop your image by grabbing that vertex and just move around if you're happy with this crop and then you want to move a picture in this crop so you can just leave that uh, crop there and then just tap on the picture and just move around Okay, so if you got your presets available here as well, you can rotate your picture from a 90 degree angle by tapping this rotate button. It will rotate. Okay, so you next you got your flip axe option. So it's gonna flip horizontally, flip it back, flip vertically. Okay, so next you got right now my current crop option is free so I can just move my crop to the picture or I can increase the picture size with that crop option next we got some presets available original square you've got your 16 by 9 preset for the crop as well if I select that but it's gonna keep that aspect ratio of 16 by 9 so now I'm gonna just accept that okay I'm gonna crop that image here I'm gonna accept that by tapping on tick mark sign okay so we got that now okay you can always um, revert your picture to your original um, picture by tapping on the undo command on the top okay so let's have a look at the adjust command now so on the adjust command you've got your auto fix which is going to auto enhance your picture you got your temperature there I'm gonna tap on temperature and now I can just um, take that circle and move it to the right to apply the temperature on my picture just happy with that Next you got exposure, you can apply exposure to your image. I'm just gonna take that, I'm just gonna apply that exposure. You got contrast, you got highlight. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna tap on this tick mark sign to accept that. Next we got looks, okay? So in the looks you got your natural portrait, bright, vivid, all your, your filters are available here. These are the most commonly filters available in other apps as well so Adobe basically covered you everywhere it's so, okay so I'm gonna select that bright filter and I'm gonna press I'm gonna tap on tick mark to accept that next we got our cutout so cutout is the main feature what I like about this app so what it does it lets you remove the area from your image so let's have a look at the layers first if you tap on that plus sign and then you're gonna open another image when I go to my camera roll and then I'll open let's say this image right okay so now we have over another image on the top of our previous image to increase the size tap with two fingers and just move so you can increase the picture size you can rotate the picture and you can basically pan it as well okay so I'm just gonna leave that there and I'm gonna tap 
to the picture again which gives me this option I can snap this to canvas so it's gonna exactly place that picture to the canvas size so that's pretty cool I'm gonna tap you can make a duplicate of it you can delete it you can rotate it right there flip on vertical axis and horizontal axis are available here so you can move the layers on the top as well so I'm gonna move this girl with the boat on the top so I can just tap hold and just take your picture on the top okay so now we got two layers on the top of each other so I'm gonna go to my cutout now and I want to cut out image except the boat and the girl so how do I do that so we got this add option in word edges feeder auto so I'm gonna tap on add option which is gonna take me to subtract option now and then right you got this pen or something like that whatever you call it so I'm gonna tap here and I'm going to make sure that I'm on smart selection so while you're in a smart selection you just paint with your finger around the area what you wanna delete from the image okay which is really cool right so it most of the image is gone now so to zoom in while you are in the layer editing mode so use your two fingers and just zoom in just try to get rid of this area as well cool as you can see it works very well if you want to add something to the image you can always tap to this subtract button it's gonna take you to add and I'm just going to add a few of the things here okay all right cool I've got my boat back now and I've got rid of all the image um, whatever I didn't want I'm gonna accept that as you can see that now we got our boat and I can just move this board about here it doesn't look natural but I just want to show you what you can do with this app okay so I'm gonna go back to my cutout so if I tap on invert what it's gonna do it's gonna get rid of the image whatever I had and just gonna bring back all the image all the other image okay I'm gonna tap on invert again and I'm gonna apply some feeder okay tap and then you gotta move your finger to the left to decrease the feeder and to the right to increase the feeder so I'm just gonna increase a little bit yep that's fine and I'm going to accept that okay before I go to the next option I want to show you this basic selection mode as well so with the basic selection mode basically if you tap on it and you get to choose a brush size so now if I tap on here I can decrease or increase the brush size so it's, if you want to cut something really small let's say I just want to get rid of this darker area on the image which is basically a feeder so I want to go to my basic selection and make sure that my brush size is really small alright so that's fine I'm gonna accept that and let's go back to our next option okay okay so now let's have a look at the blending option so you guys know a little bit of Adobe Photoshop on desktop so you are familiar with the blending options as well so I've got this difference okay so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go back to normal I'm gonna tap on my layer and I'm gonna make a duplicate of it okay it's to apply the blending option so I'm just gonna tap on it and I'm gonna make a duplicate of it and I'm going to move that here okay make another duplicate of it okay I'm gonna bring that here right and then we're gonna go and apply some blending option I'm gonna select that layer go to blending option and here you can see that you can apply lighten screen multiply all those blending options are available here go to this layer by selecting that go to your blending option and I'm going to try this multiple okay once you're done with your project you can take this to Adobe Photoshop fix application which is all about applying filters applying um, some frames to your pictures which is really cool let's have a look what well, how can we save our pictures so I'm gonna tap on this button and then it's gonna take you to save to camera roll so tap here it's gonna save that image to camera roll okay so that's it for this quick tutorial thanks for watching if you like this video share this video to your friends and i'll talk to you guys in the next video and make sure to subscribe to the channel cheers